I just always felt kind of lucky being a U.S. citizen. I just grew up with the idea that you should appreciate, you know, freedom and like being in America. While I was in the service, it was a hot time in the world, and I was specifically an 0203 ground intelligence officer. Uh, the simple way to explain that is it's a grunt with a map. Just felt, uh, you know, a, a need to do service and, and pay respects to the country, basically. For some reason, I always knew I was gonna get rich because I hated being poor as a kid. And so I knew at some point, I'm gonna make some money because this is what I want to do. And I'm just tired of being broke. So right now I run uh, Alpha Architect, which is a quantitative asset manager with just over a billion dollars. And we focus on focus factors. So we do what they call value investing and momentum investing. I was always all in on the like work from home, play from home, you know, hang out with your family from home just because it was way more efficient. For me, I like extreme hazing, right? Like, so if I can force myself into such a pain cave that I am forced to not think about anything else, it just allows me to flush my mind of all cortisol, of all worries, because in that moment, I'm worried about surviving and, and when in the hell is this exercise gonna stop because it sucks so bad. So the endurance stuff, especially, it's always nice to have another motivation. And so I really got into it through this event called March of the Fallen, which is essentially this 28 mile ruck march that was set up to honor those who basically were KIA in battle. That event's super inspiring because every mile marker, there's a, a picture of, of a fallen soldier. If you start feeling bad about yourself, well, you actually appreciate the fact you feel this pain because that means you're still alive. When there's a great cause like that, you know, it, it kind of gives you extra inspiration to like tough it out. My introduction to Delta G came through Eddie Stern. I was doing March of the Fallen and I've been, I've done it five years in a row, but I wanted to get a personal record on the course. And Eddie, who is a, you know, hardcore ultra endurance athlete, I, I called him up. I was like, I was like, Eddie, man, hey, I'm doing the March of the Fallen this year. Uh, I, what do you got for me? And he's like, well, you got to have caffeine. You got to do the beet juice stuff. And he's like, but I got this new thing called Delta G. And so that year that I used the Delta G, I actually PR'd by over two hours. I, I ran the whole course in six hours with the 40 pound pack. And it's up and down mountains. And I actually didn't even feel that bad at the end. Once you get kind of hooked on, on the 28 mile with the pack on, you're like, well, what else can you do? I got, uh, I, I call it conned uh, by a friend into this thing called Leadville 100. I was like, okay, how in the hell is it possible that anyone could run a hundred miles? Delta G was critical in that event because it allowed me to basically chemically get into ketosis and I was able to survive that race. And I definitely attribute my survival to one, a lot of luck, uh, two, a lot of training, and three, being prepared and having a very good nutrition plan where, where a keystone of that was Delta G. Right, Delta G is certainly a critical component of, of my performance package. That was the first challenge where I was like, there's a high chance that I just physically cannot do this was inspiring to me because it was kind of pushing me outside of a comfort zone, which was fun. I'm kind of looking and searching for what is the next adventure, what is the next challenge, and we'll figure out the next one when it, when it shows up, basically.